All right, I'm going to. Okay. Hello, hello, well, hello. Once again, welcome back. This is game 12 here on day two of the 2024 Cactus Cup. So glad you're here with us tonight. Anybody here been here all day? Who here was for that first game? ¿Quién estaba aquí para el primer juego? Baja. Sí, Baja estaba aquí con Montana. That was a good game. If you were not here, you missed out. I was here. It was amazing. So watch it later. Anyhow, <laughs> yay, thanks for being here with us all day long. I know it's a really long day. Um, and uh, we're so glad that you're here. Looking forward to this next game between Angel City and the Rose City Rollers. Who's here for Angel City? All right, who's here for Rose City? Yay, all right, well, I'm gonna roll out that roster for Angel City. 1031 Whiskey Von Sweets, 215 Bugoji, 26 Scheudenfrada, 28 Death Down Under, 389 Stiletto, 39 Cracker Jack, 42 Blackman, 422 Low Betancourt, 507 Rachel Rotten, 617 Ghetto Fabulous, 664 Psycho, 87 Volterine De Slea, 88 Tui Lion, 910 Coco Butthurt, and 9999, that is the Queen, Queen Luzia Tifa. All right, and welcoming Rose City Rollers in purple and white, the Wheels of Justice, number zero, zip, double zero, on a roll, number 10, OMG, WTF, number 21, Stan, number 210, Tenacity, number 24, Beans, 28, Alicia Nisbet-Smith, number 316, Evan Helical, 340, Bonnie Thunders, 360, Big Bang Fury, Number 401, Tarantula. Number 41, Roxy Dallas. Number 700, Spring Roll. 757, Morgan Levy. Number 77, Lauren Much. And they are coached by Juana Tease, Shaggy, Jam, Amanda. Oh, that's their real legal, legal names. I won't really read those off. Uh, I'm Cakes. I'm joined with Benita. And uh, our producer this evening is Vamp. Thank you so much for joining us here for game number 12 of Cactus Cup. We'll also get you the officials as they become available. Who's on that jam line there now, Bonita? Right now there on the Canyon Design Jam line, that is uh, Rachel Rotten for Angel City, Lauren Much for Rose. Lauren Much out first, does pick up lead status. Much now pushing through, looking to uh, score some points, but comes up against Low Betancourt. Low makes it real difficult, but Much finds a little bit of space on the outside. And in doing so, attracts all the attention to the outside, which opens that inside lane wide, wide, wide for Rachel Rotten. Rachel Rotten takes full advantage of it, skates through, makes that initial pass, forces the call off. And one point on the board for Lauren Much and the Rose City Rollers. Your officials this game, Quick Grayson, read the rules, Mike, some noise, Velma Deckley, Queen of Catitude, Sweet and Sour Candy, Tenacious D-Cup, Rhodes Warrior, Danger Muffin, and Catastrophe. And we'll get you the second half of our officials in just a moment. Jam 2 is underway. Both teams at full strength. Bonnie Thunders on the jam line about Schreiden Vreda is your lead jammer for Angel City. Pat stays by the, the jam line, has not moved very much. Nice little scrum start there. Great work, uh, courtesy of Honor Roll. A forearm penalty is called. Tui Lion headed to the penalty box for Angel City, joined by teammate Blackman. Bunny Thunders is out, but not lead jammer. Eligible to score are both the jammers. Bunny trying to come around the bend, find some wiggle room on lane four. Angel City's defense has to allow Bonnie to pass. Another one headed to the penalty box before Angel City's the cycle will take a seat. Two lane will come back in play. Still a little bit of a rough uh, go here for Angel City's defense. Nice work there by Two Lion, trying to open up some room on the inside lane. 
Stan doing an excellent job for Rose City. Bonnie able to uh, catch up to the pack for another scoring one, but is shut out quickly. That will bring the score four to eight in that jam. The official score currently four to 13. Angel City's now on the board. Rose City remains on top with 27 minutes and 30, uh, yeah, 27 minutes remaining in the first half. Also want to give a shout out to Smush, Mass, Carmen Dragon, Splatter, Illinois, Hate Bit, Umpire Strikes Back, and Don Scorleone, those skating officials for you. Give all the love to our officials. We appreciate them so much. And now I'm going to show some appreciation to our jammers and blockers and everybody out on the track. We do have an empty penalty box right now. That's the Birdies Diner and Donuts penalty box. Nobody in that. Volturine to Slea for Angel City and Zip for Rose. Slea pushing forward at the front of the pack. Does get some offensive assistance from Psycho, but not quite enough to get out yet. Slea still really pushing, and a Zip also coming up against Low and... Uh, Low and death down under. Along with Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack picking up a penalty. But Psycho quickly takes up that space. Prevents Zip from going anywhere. Pack getting really spread out as Slaya pushes forward on the wheels of justice. Wheels of Justice <laughs> blockers. A little bit of a mishap there as the helmet cover slips off, but Slaya, well aware that that happens, picks it up, puts it back on before exiting the pack, picks up that lead status. First lead here in the game for Angel City. Continuing to push forward. Zip not having any luck. And first, or two points, additional two points, not the first one, but two points added to the scoreboard for Angel City. Thank you for joining us, especially those in the chat giving a lot of commentary. Uh, on the athleticism of all of our skaters. Everybody in the crowd, thank you so much for being here. We're going to go ahead and get started with jam number four, spring roll on that jam line against Gabby, Ghetto Fabulous. Huge hit courtesy of Whiskey Von Sweets, uh, but number 700, known as spring roll, they are out at lead jammer. Ghetto Fabulous now exits the pack. Rough spill there courtesy of Whiskey Von Sweets. Onto Morgan Levy. A nice hit it and quit it jam there in favor of Rose City. Everybody's getting way too loud, way too loud. Just kidding. We're excited that you're excited. Sí, hay mucha emoción aquí para este juego entre, entre dos equipos. Muy bien, cada una. Rose City y Angel City. Ahora el Jammer para Rose City. Evangelical salió primero. Es lead Jammer. Mientras Stiletto está intentando de salir del pack. Los blockers de Angel City. Sigan con la fuerza de parar a Evangelica. Y Death Down Under se fue para el Birdie, the Diner and Donuts penalty box. Y se acabó el jam. Sin puntos. Oh, no. Perdón. Tres. Había tres para Rose City. 
score now 18 to 6 after five jams. Everybody's talking about how spicy this game is already. Peck advantage now for Rose. Low exits the penalty box. And now Lauren Much will have to think about her choices for a good 30 seconds. Gives time for Rachel Rotten to get your lead jammer position. This will be a power jam situation now, courtesy of the penalty. Rachel starting to rack up some points here. The front wall being taken for Rose. Big Bang Fury trying to get a little bit of offensive maneuvers going on there. Rachel squeezes on by. Angel City starting to uh, tripod up as Lauren Much exits the penalty box. This is still Lauren's initial pass, so this will be uh, a little bit of time to play with for Rachel Rodden in Angel City. Eight already on the board for this jam. Four points separating these two teams, and it's only jam number six. I don't have to do endurance, I just have to watch roller derby and I feel fit already. Rachel coming through, puts up four points, and now we have a tie game, friends. This is, ooh. Could you imagine the first 10 minutes always like switching it up like this? Yeah, what in the actual what? The elusive <laughs> tie score. How many will these, we see? I this? don't know. Meg, Meg Fenway's in the chat asking, you know, Rotten, you are boss. That's what's up. So, yes, keep giving shout outs and uh, away we go. All right. Jam number seven underway. Shoyden Frado with the star for Angel City. Bonnie Thunders for Rose City. And everybody's just chilling there at the Canyon Building and Design Jammer Line. It's like they're having a little chat, a brief meeting, if you will perhaps to decide who might take the next lead. Queen going to the penalty box. And uh, Scheudenfrada, oh, so close to being out, but clips that outside line and recycles back. Oh, somebody's on the ground, but not anymore. Very physical here, and we have not even gotten past the pivot line. There we go. Thunders out, has picked up lead. Scheudenfrado recycled back, looking to find some space to get out. Queen now out of the penalty box, coming in and just mixing things up. Opening space and rejoining the team on that blocking. Got a helmet cover down, recovered by Bonnie Thunders who will continue to attempt to make a way out of an apparent no-way situation. Tarantula getting in there with some offense. Thunders with one to beat. Wow, very bendy, that Bonnie Thunders. A little back and forth and out of the pack. Less than uh, 20 seconds on this jam, and it is called off. Three points picked up by Thunders. Seven-point jam, full two minutes, quite a battle. And since it's not a tie, that does make it a lead change. All right, jam eight underway. Zip on that jam lane against Rachel Rotten. Rose with the pack advantage. Nice stronghold here by number seven, five seven, Morgan Levy. Heavy scrum start there. Blackman also holding down a, a tough wall with Tui Lion. Zip unable to find any room on that outside lane. Pack barely trickling into the straightaway. Both teams now at full strength, and just as I say, Two and Lion takes a seat. First 30 seconds gone, still no lead. Talk about a defensive game. 
You asked for Roller Derby to heal and look at it heal right now by ripping up those seams with defensive maneuvers like this. You cannot look away. Queen showcasing the crown on that outside lane. Zip unable to download any sort of momentum. Tui Lion coming in with the heat. Gives a nice check to Stan. Stan, Stan still. And we have our lead jammer, Zip for Rose City Rollers. 36 seconds for Zip to make a difference. On a roll, takes a seat in the penalty box. I believe for a directional, but don't quote me on that. Morgan Levy bridges the gap for the engagement zone. Tui Lyon comes in for a hit. Up to Stan. Stan stands on her own. Rachel Rotten has been slowed to a trickle. Now out and eligible to score. Unfortunately, the, zam, the zippy jam comes to a close. Angel City is shut out. Rose City extends their lead by three. 16 minutes. Uh, I think it's going to be an uphill battle. This is... I feel like I need to hydrate or something. This is very intense, just like camping. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll get off the mic now. Absolutely. I'm glad I got that B12 shot earlier from our uh, one of our <laughs> sponsors here from Recovery Row. The Essential IV Drip. Be sure to check them out when they come back tomorrow if you need some energy. Spring Roll is out first. Picks up lead. Slaya still looking to find some space to get out of that pack. But all the pace sucked up by Nesbitt Smith and Tarantula. There has been a successful star pass. Spring Roll, or pardon me, Cracker Jack. Now Jammer for Angel City. Forcing that call off by Spring Roll. Just two points picked up by Rose City. Score 30 to 18 after nine. How many of you out there, is this is your first time watching roller derby? Any first time watchers out there? Oh. Our jam timer, first timer. I saw some. Oh, yay! I see some folks over yes. there telling some real big One ones. of us. One of us. We're glad you're here. If you're new to it, uh, just so you know, the skaters with the stars on their helmets must pass through the pack legally first for one round before they can start getting eligible to score points. In this case, Ghetto Fabulous is the lead jammer. That means they can control the jam for two full minutes if they so choose. Ghetto Fabulous is able to get on the outside lane and picks up four big points for Angel City. Evan Helical trying to hold on to the star for Rose and get through a very tough wall, courtesy of Blackman and Tui Lion and Whiskey Mon Sweets. Pack now starting to make its way into turn number two. This is still the first rotation of the pack. Just to show you how uh, tough this, this round is going. Ghetto trying to find some more wiggle room on the outside lane, but is shut down completely. Morgan Levy watching that inside lane with Stan. Roxy Dallas. Owning lanes three and four. Whiskey Von Sweets trying to take out Roxy a little bit. Evan Helical was about to go on a scoring run, but was exhausted by the Angel City defense. The highest score for uh, Angel City was uh, for Rachel with 12 points. For Rose, it was eight for Bonnie. So just to show you, the score may, uh, may be very close, but so is uh, each nickel and diming moment for the jams.
And that whistle means Jam 11 is underway. Lauren Much with the star for Rose City. Stiletto for Angel City. And Much salió primera del pack. Much as lead jammer. Stiletto intentando de salir del pack. Pero con ese grupo de blockers, veo tarantula, ¿quién más está ahí? Tenacity. Hemos tenido un, un paso de, o paso de la estrella, o se intentó a pasar la estrella. Oh. Alguien se cayó. Vamos a tener una parada médico. We do have an injury, so a medical timeout here, official timeout. Thank you so much for our EMTs and safety team, as well as the wonderful volunteers coming out to uh, do a little shield wall for a low. Wishing you uh, safe travels back to the bench, and hopefully everything's okay. Shout out to Murda, who's a, an alternate for Angel City. A lot of chatter in the uh, chat room asking about that. Everybody's really excited in the chat room, really uh, happy to see such great athleticism on the track. Appreciate the EMTs to keep everybody safe and sound. There are lots of ways to support the sport of roller derby. If you want to get back, make sure you join as a volunteer crew or be part of the action. We're always looking for help there, so make sure you reach out. We're back to the action track side, and now Rachel Ron takes the lead at jammer position. Uh, Bonnie Thunders is still stuck in that pack. Uh, unfortunately, two Elaine picking up a penalty to hold back Bonnie Thunder, so that'll also be a pack advantage now for Rose City. Rachel trying to take a whip off of the, her teammate. Both jammers now trading points. Angel City content to let the jam run. Blackman trying to throw, throw a little hip check to Bonnie, but Bonnie swivels on by. It's not Bonnie's first rodeo. Rose congealing back at the pivot line. Nice work offensively from Rose City, giving a lot of wiggle room in leans three and four. Two-way line coming in heavy. Hits Stan to the infield. Stan recycles. Both jammers trading punches so now it's 7 to 12 on that jam in favor of Rose City and Bonnie putting up a nice multi-point pass uh, Rachel is starting back with seven score now 33 to 52 and we have 10 minutes remaining in this first half
they are selling merch online now. So uh, make sure that you do reach out, check out all the social links, uh, make sure you check out the website. They're going to have a bunch of fun stuff for you to pick, and they'll also ship it out for you. So if things are on sale by $5, um, so there's a discount right now, so they'll ship it out to you. So go ahead and check everything out online. Bonita, what's happening trackside? Well, Zip has just zipped right on out of the pack, picking up lead status. Shoyd and Frada almost out. One to beat, got knocked out, recycled a little bit, allows time for the Rose City blockers to reform and get right back at it. Coco Butter there with some offense, and Queen Luzia Tifa slows Zip down, but Zip still able to get out of the pack, picking up three points. Man, all the action right here in front of us. It's like the best. Shoyd and Frida pushing, pushing, so showing all of that strength, moving OMG, tenacity, and tarantula forward. OMG getting off that uh, blocking line to go and give some offensive assistance. Zip, though, got knocked out and recycled back. Running into Cracker Jack. And zip through four more points. And Shoyd and Frada out of the pack now. Just 12 seconds left in the jam, though. Zip calls it off. Zip with 14 on that jam. Score 33 to 66. So Rose currently with a double the points of Angel City. Yeah, so that'll make Zip the highest scoring jammer of this contest so far. All right, right off to a very quick start. Volts out and oh my goodness, would you just look at that. Stan takes a stance and pops off on the inlay. A successful star pass to Stan. Volt now in the pack. Having to go into a really strong wall here of Rose. Whiskey Von Sweets trying to open up a, some of the lane for Volt, unfortunately. A multiplayer block is uh, given to Roxy. Pack advantage now for Angel City. As the pack starts to trickle into turn two, Stan is still on a uh, recycling pass. Two in line, just holding it down between turns one and two, lanes one and two as well. Second straightaway starting to be occupied as the offense, excuse me, defense of Rose starts to break away. Two more to beat up at the front. Volt is through with four points. Spring roll goaded in the back, trying to help out Stan. Difficult scrum there on the second bet straightaway there. Four more points on the board. Angel City starting to close that gap. Pack at a complete standstill. It's down now out. Puts up four for Rose. Volt's gonna call off the jam, minimize the damage. But a 10-point jam there for Angel City. Brings the score to 43 to 70. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Stout Roofing offers free inspections and estimates valley-wide. They do all types of roofing, are highly experienced, have competitive pricing, and are willing to take on any project no matter how big or small. If you have a leak, give them a call. 
stoutroofing.com. 187 Killer Pads, often imitated, never duplicated. Stick with the best. 187 Killer Pads, worn by the most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. The first company to make pads specifically for roller derby athletes. 187 Killer Pads, the pro derby knee from 187 Killer Pads, brings patented featured unmatched ergonomic fit and industrial strength materials. Join us for RollerCon, the biggest and best roller skating event of the year, every summer in Viva Las Vegas. Is it summer yet? All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. Five seconds. And there it is, that beauty of a whistle letting us know that this jam has started lauren much with the star for rose city ghetto fabulous for angel city ghetto fabulous with one to beat but omg hopping up in there slows les down and allows the rest of the pack to catch up creates that space for much to get out and pick up lead status ghetto fabulous Recycling back. Still looking to get through and out of this pack. But Rose City's blockers are saying, no way. Queen Lizia Tifa with some offense. Things getting pretty physical out there in this jam. And it is called off. Seven points picked up by Rose City Rollers. And that was quite the jam, quite frankly. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. That was pretty amazing and uh, kind of uh, terrifying. A nice hit to the chesticles. I know that could be tough. Jam 16 underway. Bonnie Thunders on the jam line against Stiletto. Bonnie with the lead jammer position. Peck advantage for Rose City. Star pass is acknowledged on the Rose, or excuse me, the Angel City side. Black Band now downing the star for Angel City. Bonnie just running laps at this point. Not without a say so from Whiskey Von Sweets. The crowd, the crowd is pretty pumped up from this. Black man was shut down, courtesy of Bonnie Thunders. It's an eight-point jam for Rose City. They're extending their lead. Three minutes, and our score is 43 to 85. I'm going to give a shout-out to Red Hot Print Shop. If you're looking for a fun or funky, but always tongue-in-cheek apparel and unique items visit the red hot print shop they specialize in high quality fast service and no minimums red hot print shop jam 17 starting off rachel rotten with the star for angel city zip for rose and everybody just uh camping out there on the pivot line now a little bit of forward movement coming into the turns and Rachel Rotten is out, picks up lead. Zip, taking off that helmet cover. And what the what? That was like the sneakiest of sneaky passes because I didn't even know and on a roll had the star on. So on a four, uh, Forcing that call off. Four points, however, picked up by Angel City. We are having an official review requested by Rose City. So they're going to plead their case. And as soon as uh, the officials make a decision, they will let us know. We'll do what we can to pass that on to you in case it was challenging to hear. Hey, remember to go get those raffle tickets. 
They are $2 each, three for $5. All the funds supports Arizona Junior Roller Derby. Support our juniors by purchasing a raffle ticket. We do have a raffle taking place during halftime of the last game tonight. That's when you can win a fun night out package, an in-home massage, a triple eight helmet with visor, MVP passes to RollerCon. If you don't have your RollerCon passes, go get you a raffle ticket, friend, and a gardening basket from the AZ Plant Lady. Make sure you're getting those raffle tickets. Now, this is almost like, uh, I feel like we're watching a preview for our championship game, maybe. Some may say, depending on your bracket setup, but uh, the winner will go on to our championship game tomorrow. And Consulate will uh, have to go again, I believe tomorrow morning. Yeah, at the 15th, yeah. So we'll play back to back. So uh, winning this game will be really uh, helpful for the rest period. Shout out from Meg Fenway, Angel City already the champs of my heart. What are we even talking about? I get ya, I hear ya, I feel what you're saying. Killer BC, or yeah, Killer BCDG. Oh, Killer Bees, I see you, okay. <laughs> Sorry, reading is hard. Uh, as much Rose City was requesting a forearm call on Angel City's jammer in the previous jam. Upon review, no penalty will be issued. Rose City does not retain the review for the half. Well, there you have it. Review is not retained. Much is playing, those that were asking in the uh, chat. Nice, strong voice from our head official. Thank you so much for that. I love it. All right, we're back to the action. Jam 18, Spring Roll and Schreidenfred. Spring Roll takes the lead jammer position for Rose City. A nice scrummy start to this jam. Schreidenfred is stuck behind a very tight wall of Rose City. That pivot line being completely occupado. Psycho takes a seat in the penalty box. Not too much penalty trouble for those wondering. For uh, Angel City, Cracker Jack sitting at four. Psycho sitting at three. Same with Tui line with three. There's no other contentions for trouble there. Rose City very, very clean. Roxy with only two penalties. Everybody else has one or none. Pack starting to go towards turn number two. Still on the first rotation, just to show you how tough this defense is set up currently. Tenacity does a great job pushing back against the Whiskey Von Sweets. High block is called on Tarantula. So a uh, sit in the box. So Rose will start with one down in the penalty box. So it was a four point jam for Rose City. Just kidding, eight point jam for Rose City, 93 to 47. And we are trickling into the final moments. We are now at halftime. Wow, what do you think about that one so far there, Bonita? Man, this game is... Hey folks, did you know that your head is not normal? No one's is. If your helmet size is a small, but your teammate size is an extra large, wearing the same helmet shell doesn't just look kind of funny. The functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. The 888 certified sweat saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact. Try for yourself. We've got you.
All right. Who is ready to come back to the conclusion of Angel City Roller Derby versus the Road City Rollers? I know I am. I'm super stoked. Glad you're here and glad that you're part of our chat. I'm Cakes and I am joined with Bonita and Vamp. How are you feeling, Bonita? I'm pumped. I know sometimes it's hard to tell because I don't always get super excited, but sometimes I do get super excited. And maybe I'm going to get super excited in just a minute because I'm pumped. How yeah, are you feeling? Yeah. Super pumped. You ready to pump up the jam? Get it? Because we're going to have pump a jam. Pump up the jam. Pump so it funny. Up. Oh, okay, sorry. That just totally took me back to high school track because we would play <laughs> that song. Good. Every, okay, anyway, sorry. Hi, Moose Def. How are you? And uh, Senior Poo Poo, thank you for joining us in the chat. Uh, good luck with that awesome, uh, I think you had said an interview. Let us know where we, they can find you on the internet because I think you have a show. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Meg. Hi, Meg. So excited that you're all here. I'm going to get you some more information on Trackside right now. Bonita, who is jamming? Well, first out of the pack is Ro Rose City's jammer, Much, but Rachel Rotten wants to get all up in that business. Rachel out of the pack as well and really bringing the heat. Much with some fancy footwork with a hop and a skip there. Calls it off, picking up three points, uh, preventing Rachel Rotten from any points. But you know what, Rachel Rotten preventing Much from getting all four points, just three on that last jam. Man, that was a quick one. <laughs> I think that was like a 32 second jam. Because here we go now. We are ready for jam number two cakes. Here we go. Bunny Thunder is again shredded for a bit. OMG WGF hits Psycho. Psycho is distracted momentarily and shredded for a bit. Is your lead jammer for Angel City. Both teams at full strength. Tarantula doing a nice job forcing Shred and Brit out. And Tarantula does pay a penalty for those choices. Pack advantage for Rose, excuse me, Angel City. One handed stays in balance. Shred and Brit puts up four. Pack starting to pick up a lot of speed as it enters turn number three. Little spill from a Psycho. Psycho right back up. OMG, WTF taking that back wall, going against Tui Line, Tui Line throwing all the heat at OMG, WTF. Shredded and Freda, it turns off the jam time for four more points on the board, and we have a multi-point pass for Angel City, extending their lead a little bit. Uh, just trying to close that score. Got 55 to 96, and we have 27 minutes, 50 seconds remaining, and uh, wow, just wow. Wow is right. Wowzy, wowzers, wowzers. Like, I can't even, Bonita. I just can't even. It's OMG. Just like OMG. <laughs> Skater from Rose City. Ah -ha. All right, anyway. Uh, it is jam number three, and here we go now. It is Slaya with the star for Angel City. Zip for Rose. I heard a whistle. I see some pointing. Looking like a... Uh, Multiplayer call there on Rose City. So they will be down a blocker. Pack advantage there for Angel and everybody just chilling here again in the pivot line. Oh, they're gonna bring the action to us, Cakes, as they are in turn one. Zip, ready to get out of that pack and does so. Picks up lead and is flying around the track. Slaya still looking for some space. And that's a star pass. There is a new jammer for Angel City. That is Death Down Under, Death Down Under. Closing all that space, forces the call off. So Zip ends it after picking up four points. So another very quick jam, just four points on the scoreboard for Rose City. Takes our score to 104 to 55. You're feeling a little bit like you need some massage therapy. Make sure you check out Morgan Rojas' massage therapy. Find aligned massage movements for your structure. 
add your name to the sign-up sheet for all these t this entire tournament. They will be trackside. Meanwhile, Ghetto Fabulous picks up the lead jammer position for Angel City in jam number four. Evan Helical donning the star for Rose after a uh, a moment rush on that jam line. Ghetto Fabulous is stuck behind Stan, OMG WTF. And on a roll. Visky Von Sweets comes to take a little bit of that heat off Ghetto Fabulous. Checks Morgan Levy and OMG WTF. They recycle right with Stan into turn number two. Rose with that back wall, Tarantula, or excuse me, Morgan Levy. Giving a little hit, or a chest to chest, chesticle hit <laughs> to Psycho. Angel City now extending its pack one by one every 10 feet to hold back Evangelical. Evangelical now on a scoring run. Ghetto set, shuts it down before any damage can occur. Four points on the board for Angel City. Brings the score now 59 to 104. Beautiful whistle there to start this jam at jam at number five. Here in the second period, Lauren Much with the star for Rose City. That's Stiletto for Angel City. Stiletto pushing, pushing forward, really moving that pack, making some good progress, then gets slowed down. Queen and Boo coming in to offer some offense. Man, almost, almost enough until Rose's blocker, Nesbitt Smith, rolls right around and shuts it down. Much now back in the pack, getting swallowed up there by Boo and Queen. And I think Cracker Jack, maybe. Jam has ended. Looks like four points picked up by Rose City. Four points on that last jam. Shout out in our chat room from No Mames. Shout out to Stiletto. So much growth so quickly. That's a nice little shout out. If you have any shout outs you'd like us to say, please let us know. We'd be happy to answer questions as well as give you shout outs. Headed to the penalty box. Psycho takes a seat. Pack advantage now for Rose. Bonnie Thunders picks up the lead jammer position. Foreign penalty on Tui Lion. do -si do out of the penalty box. One enters, one leaves. Queen back on track. Rachel Rotten setting up the defense. Bonnie Thunders makes her way through on the inside lanes, courtesy of Morgan Levy, offering a lot of offensive maneuvers on the inside lanes. Bonnie Thunders on the outside. Psycho trying to make a play, throwing off Una on a roll. Pack now settling down in turn one. Blackman throwing everything she's got towards Bonnie Thunders. Bonnie Thunders takes a trip. Now has to get past Queen and Blackman. Or excuse me, uh, Psycho. Blackman does pass through as the star pass was handed off. Angel City is shut out. 16-point jam in favor of Rose City. 
21 minutes remaining in this contest. Supermanscape says, shout out to Coco Butter. I'm her biggest fan. Allegedly, there's so much room for fandom. <laughs> Allegedly. How can you statistically measure that, right? Like, what is the data on the biggest fan? Inquiring minds want to know. I think inquiring minds also want to know, how is Zip so zippy? Zip out again very quickly. Does pick up lead Shoyden Frada with the star for Angel City. Has made a star pass to Death Down Under. Death Down Under had almost gotten out of the pack before being knocked out and recycled back and having to start all over again. Zip now back looking to add some more points and Death Down Under finds some space, takes it and is out making an initial pass, forcing that call off. So Zip does stop things right there. Zip picking up four points on this jam. Remember, there is has been an additional opportunity for Cactus Cup merch to be ordered, but you got to do it today or tomorrow because it is going to end. Ordering will end at six o'clock tomorrow night. So get that order in if you want some sweet merch. You get that sweet, sweet merch. All right, we're back to the action track side. Volts against Spring Roll. Nice, strong defense in that front position, hitting the pivot line now. Stabilized by Stan. They are just grinding out here. Recycle. Forearm penalty on Morgan Levy. Pack advantage now for Rose City. And we haven't seen one of these in a moment. Taking wow. it back old school. How long are they content to let this go? 56 seconds left on the jam clock. It's a good penalty kill kind of situation. This is what the upside down looks like when you're in roller derby, I'm sure. You guys keep this up, you know what's gonna happen? The refs are gonna be like, remember that one time at Cactus Cup in 2024 when they were just doing shenanigans and just kept skating backwards? I think we should make a rule about that. And then we'll never have anything nice. This is why we can't have nice things. Thanks so much, Rose. Uh, Meg in the chat calling for a minor penalty. Meg really wants to go back. <laughs> oh, wow. Memory lanes. All right, we're just gonna chill. Uh, just take a take a moment. Rose City uh, taking that front wall position, and that jam goes down in the record books as the most peculiar jam that there is. Certainly, something you don't see every day. No, anymore. See, <laughs> roller derby's been refreshed for 20 years now, 22 years, if I'm being math mathematically correct, from Texas, from 2002, I think it started the revival. So, we all just witnessed history. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Write this in your diary tonight, dear diary. Today at Cactus Cup. I saw Lauren Much with the star. I saw Ghetto Fabulous with the star. And I saw a race on the track. Ghetto Fabulous called with lead, but much slightly ahead in the race. Let's see, what's gonna happen? Much through picks up four points. I think Ghetto Fabulous is gonna attempt to score some points before the call off. Let's see, yep, two picked up by Ghetto Fabulous and Rose 
on that jam. Another fun one to watch. Hydrate your thirst for life. It's simple. If it requires any effort, Zico helps you hydrate for it. Follow on Instagram at Zico Coconut. Game on. We're in Jam 10. Bonnie Thunders on the line against Stiletto. Thank you for being part of the chat there. Polly Punchkin, Mike Fenway, Rabbit Ann. No mames. Thank you for being part of our world right now in Cactus Cup. We're getting a direction play, so Stan will take a seat in the penalty box. Pack advantage now for our Angel City. Bonnie Thunders does have that lead at jammer position, but there was a star pass on the Angel City side, so we do have Blackman donning the star for Angel City. Four points on the board for Bonnie Thunders. Blackman coming around the bend. Bonnie Thunders points to the outside asking for a defensive wall there. Blackman finding wiggle room on the apex. Puts up four big points for Angel City. The crowd does have a reaction to this. They are stoked. Rose's bench calling for Bonnie to call off the jam just as Stan got back into play. Official review is being requested by the Angel City side. Seven point jam for Rose City, four for Angel. And we're gonna stop the clock at 14 minutes, 24 seconds. Allowing everybody to catch their breath and uh, take a breather, because that was pretty, pretty spicy. Pretty spicy indeed. You know where else you can get something spicy? That's Menos Place Taco Shop in Mesa, Arizona. They are an LGBTQ plus family owned and operated restaurant. Get the best authentic real street tacos. And guess what else? You can catch a drag show there every Friday night. They are also our official after party hosts. That will be tomorrow night, I think 7.30 to 11. There's uh, information about how to get there on all the socials and probably post it around here or you know, ask an Arizona roller derby person if you wanna know. We'll be happy to tell you because we like to party. We like to party, yes. So hope to see you all there tomorrow night. Right where Rural Road meets US 60, you'll find Brick Road Coffee, a haven for those searching for a place where they can be accepted and authentically themselves. Check out Brick Road Coffee. And whether you're struggling with pain or looking to enhance your athletic performance, you need a doctor who cares about your goals. Angel City was requesting a low block call on white blocker in the previous jam. Upon review, we will not be issuing a penalty. Angel City does not retain their review for the half. Well, City of Angels, got to pray. And there you go. There you have it, friends. <laughs> if you're struggling with pain, just try hitting Queen Lusitifia. You'll reset your bones. <laughs> good one there, Meg. Oh, that's good. Meg with the jokes. Every time I see Meg in a Twitch chat on any game, I'm like... <laughs> We're in for a good time, friends. <laughs> you know what else is a good time? Watching Rachel run with the star. Rachel pushing forward for Angel City. And out first, taking full advantage of this power jam. Zip. Just chilling out there in the Birdies Diner and Donuts penalty box. Rachel looking to get through and add some points to that Angel City score. Zip now out of the penalty box and you're gonna see uh, what can happen here, but coming up against Queen 
and Death Down Under, along with Cracker Jack, making it difficult. Oh, really nice hit there by Death Down Under. Whiskey Von Sweets also with some chase down there, both slowing it down. Zip as Rachel Rotten comes into the pack, passes a couple of Rose skaters and calls it off. See what the officials see what that jam ref says as far as points. Oh, nope. There it is. Two points for Angel City there on that last pass, taking it to six total for the jam. All right, we're going to head into jam number 12. Shred and fruit it on the jam line against Spring Roll. Spring Roll does what spring roll does rolls on into corner number one calls off the jam very quickly shred and Freda was trying to come around the bend forcing that call off a yeah, nice little reset for everybody nice shout outs in the chat room whiskey is such a gem from charmer What you got on the books there, Bonita? Just looking ahead to what we have coming up next, Santa Cruz against Rat City. Tomorrow morning, that first game is going to be Arizona Roller Derby against the winner of the next game. Winner of this game will be playing in that final game, game 16 at 5.30 tomorrow night. Slaya with the star for Angel City, much for Rose. Bit of a pile up here, but everybody hops right back up. Starts moving forward. Slaya making some progress there. Getting some assistance from Queen. Queen digging in there, attempting to open up some space, but Beans and Nesbitt Smith closing it down quickly. Whiskey Von Sweets and Death Down Under holding back much for a moment, but much now out of the pack, making an initial pass. We have also had a star pass to Death Down Under. So Death Down Under, Jammer for Angel City. And it looks like there will be no lead in this jam. So we will see a full two-minute jam. Just what you want to see when there's only 10 minutes left here in the game. And you have been, you know, hitting it hard for the previous 50 minutes. So everyone pushing forward, looking to pick up some points as time ticks down here in jam number 13 just a few seconds to go much picking up four points and there it is death down under also getting through just before those whistles four points so rose with eight angel city with four and that was quite a jam two full minutes only 12 points between the two teams and now I'm tired. <laughs> Nap time. All right, we're going to head into jam number 14 underway. Ghetto Fabulous on the jam line against Bonnie Thunders. As we're nickel and diming the time clock here, let us know your MVP thoughts. We'll take them into consideration. Bonnie Thunders puts up the lead jammer position for Rose City. Ghetto, Ghetto Fabulous is still stuck behind Rose's Walls of Secrets, also known as OMG WTF Honor Roll and Stan. Nice work here from the offense of Angel City. Psycho now dotting the star for Angel City.
so rough that Bonnie lost the cap. Star sitting in turn one. Long engagement zone there as the pack spread thin into turn one. Rose City having that back wall. A little bit of discussion from both teams. Angel City is shut out, keeping their score at 75. Eight. Rose City extends their lead by eight, coming up to 155. Seven, four, seven minutes and 40 seconds remaining. Jam number 15 underway. Zip with the star for Rose City. Stiletto for Angel City. Looks like a zip uh, lost that helmet cover momentarily, but went back, picked it up, and going to start again. And now zip out of the pack, picked up lead. Stiletto still looking to get out and start that initial pass. Zip now re-engaging. And Stiletto says, let's just pass this off. And successfully does so, giving it to Cracker Jack and forcing the call off, holding Zip and the Wheels of Justice to four points on that jam. Oh My Quad Skate Shop is your only skate shop in northern Arizona. We specialize in all things skates and accessories. Oh My Quad is run by Halloween and Joya Destroya of northern Arizona Roller Derby. They have over 15 years skating under their wheel, so check them out. They strive to provide their customers with one-on-one -on -one service. So follow them on Instagram or Facebook, Oh My Quad Skate Shop. Back to the action track site. Spring Roll is your lead jammer for Rose City. Fred and Frida is stuck in that sticky wall of Rose City. Oh, huge hit there, courtesy of Psycho. Collecting their, thing, their thoughts. Big Bang Fury is uh, trying to wall back up for Rose. Tui Lion and Whiskey Von Sweets. Just thigh to thigh, really making it hard for spring roll. Speaking of spring roll, on a roll, takes a seat in the penalty box. Think about her choices. Spring roll uh, tapping the wrist, indicating time. Curiouser and curiouser, the, the jam comes to a close. Four on the board then for Rose City on that next pass. Angel City remains shut out. We have just under five minutes remaining in this contest. How did that happen? I thought the game just started. I know, I ju you just blink and now we're here. I'm telling you, this happens all the time. It's like I'm in a time warp when I watch roller derby. And the jam is on. Lauren Much with the star for Rose. Rachel Rotten for Angel City. Much out of the pack slightly before Rachel. They just skate around to the uh, pivot line and go ahead and call it off. So, you know, just a little fun skate around, hanging out with your friends. No change in the score. Got about four minutes left here in the second half. We do have another game coming up. Make sure you stick around for that game with Santa Cruz and Rat City. Jam 18 underway. Bonnie Thunders on the line against a vault. Slaya not too far behind a wall of blockers courtesy of Rose. Bonnie Thunders puts up the jammer position. Blackman snatches the star and is your jammer of record for Angel City. 
Bunny Thunder is coming up the middle. Those packs starts to spread a little bit thin as it enters the second straightaway. Bonnie's going to shut off the jam just before Blackman can enter and take some points. Really good blocking there by OMG and Tui. And there it is. This jam is underway. <laughs> Evangelical with the star for Rose. Ghetto Fabulous had it for a minute, but has passed it to Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack now a jammer for Angel City. Putting on that pressure does force the call off. Four points picked up by Rose in that jam. About two minutes left, friends. We are getting down to it here. All right, pack advantage now for Angel City. Fred and Frida is pushing forward on that pivot line. On a roll, taking the lead position as far as that Triforce, holding back Shred and Frida. Frida is your lead jammer for Angel City. Lauren Much. Sits in the penalty box. This will be a power jam situation now for Angel City. And you know, you love to say it. Power jam, jam, jam. <laughs> yes, you know I love a monster truck style power jam <laughs> call out. <laughs> great, great job there by Rose's defense. I really love the work from Beans here. Frankly, Beans gives a damn. We're coming down to our final seconds here in this jam. 29 seconds on the period clock, 43 for the jam. Anything can happen in 30 seconds, you don't know. Wow, would you just look at that athleticism on the outside lane. Both jammers trading points. Frada is content to let the jam come to its natural conclusion. Huge hit courtesy of Stan with a little bit of momentum from Lauren Much. And that closes the game, our unofficial score. I'll give them time to tally it up, but a very nice uh, ending moment, ending jam for Angel City. A 12-point jam brings the score 87 to 179 unofficially. Please give it a moment as the officials must exit the track. We will get your MVPs here shortly. That is the final whistle, folks. 87 to 179 in favor of Angel City. So we will see Angel City again on the board here for the championship game at 5.30 p.m. You will see them here championship Sunday. Angel City will skate again also tomorrow, 2.30 p.m. as a warm-up before going into the championship game. Pop, pop, indeed. Let's give it up for Rose City Rollers. Give it up for Angel City Derby.
Thank you so much for everybody in our chat room as well. Any last minute uh, shout outs, let us know as we go along. We're also going to give you some MVPs here in just a moment. Shout out for Blackman. Love those star passes by Polly Punchkin. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Cakes and I was joined by Bonita as well as Vamp. Any final words there, Bonita? Always. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. And look at the stars tonight and know that we are all under the same big sky. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> much love to you all. See you later. Uh, Meg Fenway says, uh, for Angel City, there is an announcement from Meg Fenway. Meg loves all of them. All of you. So, so much. Juana, you're a beautiful human and an amazing coach. Thank you so much, Charmer, for that. That's so sweet. Shout out to Awana Tease, to eat. Can I hear you? <laughs> Ghetto? By Kids. Z Pat, thank you so much for that. Senior Poo Poo, thank you for being here. <laughs> Loves you more than uh, Meg Fenway. That's smart. I like it. Great job, everybody. All right, now for your MVP awards. For Angel City, the Jammer MVP, Stiletto. For Angel City, the MVP blocker, Queen. And Angel City's MVP Team Spirit Award goes to Death Down Under. Rose City, your Jammer MVP is Zip. Your, your MVP blocker is Big Bang Fury. And for Rose City, your Team Spirit Award goes to Stan. Give a round of applause for all the MVPs. Thank you, track crew, for also checking the track between games. Stand by for our last game starting in about 37 minutes.